anyway, <clears throat> check this out. Start this video off the right way, y'all. Make sure, make sure y'all uh, y'all leave a thumbs up. Y'all y'all hit the share button. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Notifications and leave a comment, man. Uh, new day today, new video. I'm a little late. Well, I'm not even a little late. I've already been dropping videos all morning. Little YouTube shorts clips every morning, but all morning. But uh, it's time to go hit the gym right now, y'all. Uh, I was supposed to go to the gym earlier, like about a few hours ago, but. I was having a conversation with my grandmother and everything, y'all. If y'all don't know, my grandmother is about 90 years old. So, you know, moments like that um, is very important. And that I live with me for the rest of my life. Um, trip out. I was talking to her about my weight and everything. And my little weight loss journey I'm going through right now and everything. And um, she was asking me, are you in pain still and everything? And I told her for the two weeks I've been hitting the gym. Well, almost two weeks I've been hitting the gym. It's like all my pain went away i haven't had no back pain i haven't had no pain in my knees i haven't had nothing at all i haven't even had no chest pains you guys since i've been back in the gym just pushing and working and you know what i'm saying uh working on myself improving myself and and uh doing the things that i need to doing the things that i need to be doing i need to go get some gas up in there before this fucker get on E again but um I've been doing all the necessary things you guys to get myself better and it's been almost two weeks in and I'm already feeling better I'm already feeling better I was looking and I was looking at myself earlier this morning and I could see um that my stomach is actually going down mind you it's been almost two weeks I've been in the gym my stomach's already going down and uh mind you I only drink maybe one time a week now twice a week now i haven't had nothing i i've been so committed and focused on this journey you guys i haven't even really had a beer like that tomorrow's friday so i know friday i do have a little something and then maybe a saturday i might have a little something depending on how i'm feeling so yeah y'all this shit's feeling good man i'm feeling good i'm feeling good physically and i'm feeling good mentally man y'all don't understand it um let me just say this real quick cayete way pinche troca <laughs> Let me just say this. Before, I would spend like 25, 30 bucks on fucking beer and fucking a shit ton of liquor and everything. Now, that 25, 30 bucks is going towards uh, my fitness and my health journey and shit. Paying for my gym membership every month. Uh, buying these waters. Getting that electrolyte shit. Uh, all that good stuff. You feel me? Uh, trying to eat healthy. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It's a mission, y'all. Eating healthy and everything. It ain't fucking easy, but it's a mission. It's a mission, but it's well, it's worth it. It's going to pay off in the end, y'all. I can see this transformation happening. I'll say in a year. I'll say in a year. i say in a year. Because as y'all know, I haven't been partying. I haven't been turning up. I haven't been around functions. I haven't been around, like, family functions. Well, not my family functions, but, like, with my lady and everything. I haven't been around no one, none of that stuff, and nobody at all, y'all. I've just been so committed into getting myself together and getting myself right and doing what I need to do. You feel me? That's what I've been focused on and shit. And as y'all know, since I've been focused on this fitness journey for going on two weeks, look at my truck. Look at my truck. These ain't brand new tires, but nigga, 85% tread. Nigga, I got a deal. I've been hooking up my truck more. I got some decent tires on here. Yeah, decent tires. I need to hurry up and get to the gym and everything, man. I got some decent tires on here. Got gas in the truck most of the time now. Look at that. Look at that. No ball tires, y'all. They ain't brand new, but just saying, man. Just saying. This is what staying focused uh, does, y'all. I'm just using my truck as an example about staying focused and everything. You feel me? You get to focus on other shit than just... You know, doing dumb stuff, you feel me? And this is why I always preach to you guys, man. Invest in yourselves. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter what it is. It could be your health, business, uh, clothing brand, maybe invest into your house, remodel your own, you know what I'm saying? If you got a house and everything, make your house look more nicer, you know what I mean? Cut your grass, you know what I'm saying? Get some new shit. Put some artificial uh, grass on your shit, you feel me? You might want to redo the driveway, you know what I'm saying? Man, focus on something, y'all. Tell y'all, focus on positive shit, man. Trust me when I say this shit. 
Because in this day and age, it's all about negativity and drama. Serio. It's about negativity and drama. And I'm being real with all y'all right now. That's what this day and age is about. You feel me? So focus on the positive, y'all. And I'm a living proof. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Don't get me wrong. I still have like a day where I might smack on something. You feel me? Like a cold one or whatever. But uh, thanks to me going to the gym and everything for these two weeks, I have not been drinking every single damn day. If y'all remember before I started going to the gym, I would fucking sip every single fucking day. Every day I would have to have a three pack. Every day I would have to have a Kawama, you know, or something like that. Now, one time a week, <laughs> twice if I'm feeling it, or maybe not even at all, y'all. So uh, thanks to me going to the gym, thanks to me actually spending money and to myself, yeah, it's 25 bucks, but fuck it, nigga. It's going to something positive than to be going to something negative. You understand me? So just uh, think about that, you guys, man. Focus on yourselves, man. Stop focusing on other people's lives and shit. Stop worrying about what the next nigga is doing. Stop worrying about, stop having your nose all up in everybody's business and shit, my nigga. And put that same energy into yourselves to have a positive outcome. I thought I just had to just share that real quick with all y'all, man. I had to get that off my chest and everything. I will be live later on tonight, uh, depending on what time I get home and everything. So yeah, y'all stay tuned right now. Let's go to the gym. Let's go get this workout in. I gotta hit 7-Eleven first and I gotta hit the gas station first. Cause I'm back driving. Well, yeah. I drive this shit every day as it is, but now that I got, you know, I got some decent tires on here, I can whip it on the freeway now. I ain't gotta worry about, uh, you know, being stuck in traffic, riding the street everywhere because my tires are fucking bald. And to all those that wanna talk shit, because I got some, these, dude, these tires is damn near brand new, close to brand new. It's just that it came off, probably came off of another vehicle. I'm cool with that. As long as it got 85% tread or maybe 90% tread, I'm cool with that. Now, if you want to go spend 700 to 1000 on tires and get ripped off and scammed by these shops out here, go right ahead. Go ahead. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't care. I'm doing what the fuck I can do. You feel me? And if you niggas want to, man, call me broke. Man, I'm to the point now. I don't give a fuck no more. You know, for real. So go ahead. Call me broke. Broke boys for life. God damn it. Broke boys for life. Let's get to it, y'all. Let's get, let's get this day knocked out. And uh, let's go dry this sexy beast right now. Let's get it. Let's go. What's good with all y'all? <clears throat> Just got done getting paid physically and mentally. I am whooped and beyond whooped. I should have brought the iPad with me. I would have slapped y'all some music in here. I know y'all been meaning this, to hear the music in here and shit since I got everything fixed up and I did everything that I needed to do to this truck and everything as far as to keep it on the road and shit. So, uh, yeah, y'all, but I made it out. I'm feeling good. I'm whooped. I'm tired, but I'm feeling good, though. I'm feeling real good, man. I'm about to go take me a nice... I'm about to go take me a nice... Uh, Nice uh, shower when I get home and uh, get on with the rest of the day. Yup, get on with the rest of the day. Yes, sir. Whew. But that was a good little close to two hours being in here. So, yeah, y'all. I, I be kicking ass up in there, man. I seen one of my partners on Instagram post put a uh, post up and everything talking about how people. How people and how people at the gym be bullshitting and just beating around the bush, wasting time and uh, procrastinating and everything. And uh, it was actually pretty true. I see it all the time. And these be the same niggas that be wasting time procrastinating, but staring at me, but staring at me while I'm getting my workout on, while I'm out here fucking busting, nigga, bust, nigga, nigga, busting my rear end and everything and uh. Putting that work in, nigga. T-shirt on, wet, sweat, all that shit. Hell, if y'all can tell. You know what I mean? Those be the same ones that just be staring the whole time. And those be the same ones that be trying to holler at all the females in here. Like, bro, like, leave people alone. Let people get their work out in. Leave them at peace. Let them focus on themselves. You know, instead of, uh, you know, staring. Instead of staring around, looking at people and just wasting time, nigga. Shit. Should be doing the same thing, but then once again, it's none of my business. Like I said, y'all come in and mind my business. I too much don't 
try to get into no drama. I too much don't try to get into it with nobody. I just mind my business, put the work in, and uh, get the hell up out of here as soon as I can. But anyway, let's head back home right now, y'all. I'm fucking. Oh my god. Damn, today was a was a wild one. And it's the first video today too. Woo, that AC feeling good, man. And we drink water too. Oh yeah. Drinking that water. Staying hydrated. I got an empty one over there too. I gotta throw this, I gotta throw that shit out. Woo, shit. I see you guys right now, y'all. When we get back to the house, I'm about to play me some music. Just made it back home, peeps. And uh, let's pop the hood of the truck, y'all. See, I was looking up under the hood since I did all the work that I did to it and shit, man. Uh, one thing I can say is that uh, this truck is running fucking phenomenal. Like, I can't even complain about it. Like, it's running real phenomenal. Uh, one thing, a lot of y'all been asking, oh, what's the upgrades next? Okay, so y'all want to know? Uh, Suspension-wise, shocks. Shocks front and back. Audio wise, uh, brand new door speakers. Uh, it's been three years since I had these door speakers in here, so I might as well upgrade them to some better stuff and to some higher quality, higher component type of shit. So that's next on the list. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Radio. My lady been nagging me. She says she, my, my lady hates this fucking radio in here because um, if you ever pay attention, sometimes how the way my backup camera be looking and it don't look picture quality clear it's because it don't got the this radio doesn't have all the rca cable uh connections in the back so only one is able to plug in for the backup camera that's why that's why the backup camera comes out shitty so audio another radio yeah i know another radio door speakers uh like i said before suspension i'm gonna change the shocks on there put some brand new shocks on here since i'm gonna keep this truck as long as it lasts me because i know it ain't this truck, you guys, this truck has a lot of life left in it. Like, I mean, a lot of life left in it. So, it's no need for me to uh, let this truck go and just get rid of it. It's like, it's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it costs a lot for gas, but I'm out here busting my ass 24-7. So, there's always gas in this truck. Rather, if I'm popping $20 in the tank, $40 in the tank, $60 in the tank, $80 in the tank, $100. You know what I mean? It don't matter. Gas is always in this truck, y'all. So, I'm not worried about gas. It is what it is. It's like... Uh, the problem that I see today is that a lot of people are fucking ashamed. You feel me? They're fucking ashamed to uh, start start figuring out how to have multiple sources of income. Maybe got to go get that little side job, that little part time side job, and everything. Uh, you know, you know, a lot of motherfuckers is uh, ashamed to do anything out here. They think one source of income out here in the United States, generally speaking, is going to be enough. No. If anything, if you're smart and you're intelligent, you know. You will be, you will play it. You rather be, you will rather be safe than sorry, or you'd rather be safe than being broke as fuck, borrowing money off of people and everything. You know what I mean? And um, create some hustles. Shit, go get that side, that side part time job if that's what you want to do. Uh, start your small business, uh, social media platform, clothing. Um, what else? What else? What else? Maybe doing handyman stuff. It's, it all depends on you guys, y'all. Whatever, whatever the hell y'all, whatever the hell you're into, and whatever you like doing, nigga, run with that shit. Trust me. Don't pay attention to the negativity. Don't pay attention to the haters. Um, don't pay attention to the naysayers that say that oh you should just focus on your job and that's it. Why are you gonna focus on this for? Why are you gonna do this for? Why are you gonna do that for? And everything. Don't pay attention to the people that have. The crabs in the bucket mentality. Those people that have the crabs in the bucket mentality, those are gonna, be, those are always gonna be the ones that's gonna be stuck in the same situation every single time. Those is gonna be the ones that's gonna be in your DMs, blowing up your phone, blowing up your text message. Hey, can I borrow fifty? 
Can I borrow a hundred real quick? I'm behind on this. I'm behind on that. Can you lend me something real quick? Those are going to be the ones always with their handout. Like one, they need to borrow money. Two, they act like you owe their ass something. When in reality, you don't owe them shit because they ain't the ones, you know what I mean? Putting in that work every, every morning, every night, or however the way y'all doing it. You feel me? So just a little heads up to all y'all. Besides all that, man, let's go pop the hood of this big ass thing, man. I love this truck. I love spending my money on this truck, man. For real. I love this truck. A lot of people understand it. This thing got a lot of light. Let me zoom it. Oh, yeah. We looking good. We looking good, y'all. No leaks. Look at that. No leaks. Zero leaks. Look at that. No leaks. It's just the motor's just dirty. Other than that, no leaks. Everything going good on here. This hasn't fucking got jacked up. I do got to go to the audio shop. Uh, that'll be tomorrow's mission to hit the audio shop so I can get another ring terminal put on here. A better one. This one's like I said, this one's like about three years old. So <clears throat> I might as well go ahead and go and go get it replaced tomorrow. So I will be hitting the audio shop tomorrow for sure. Um, I've already got the truck cleaned up for the weekend. So we're good. I don't even got to wash the truck or anything. Uh, one thing I probably am going to do to tomorrow i'm gonna re clean the rims i'm gonna re clean i'm gonna re uh shine up the rims and everything for the weekend but uh we good y'all we good this truck is in you guys this this truck is in good condition like if i was to sell this truck i know for a fact whoever gets this truck and especially if they take care of it do the maintenance change the oils check the fluids do the regular maintenance that it needs do the transmission service you know, take care of everything. This truck will go about 500,000 miles, maybe close to a million miles. You just never know, everybody. You never know. You never know, man. So, yeah, this truck is in good condition. I can't complain. I can't complain. It's not, I, don't got, I don't got nothing else to complain about, man. I love this truck. Yeah, parts is kind of hard to get for it and everything because, uh, because uh, it's got the 5.4 four valve. So a lot of parts are a little bit more complicated to get for this truck compared to the two valve four six and the two valve five four. But besides that, man, I love this truck. And then another list on the upgrades too, cold air intake. I remember a lot of y'all been bugging me about that shit too. Get a cold air intake, get a cold air intake. So that's next on the list, y'all. So like I said, I'm doing everything one at a time. Um, if you guys would like to help out and support and sponsor it just go down below in the description and um it's right there with the dollar sign mr potato head 562 y'all down below in the description if y'all like to sponsor something it could be anything if y'all like to sponsor something for this truck y'all really would appreciate it but until then one at a time one at a time y'all paying the bills first putting food on the table feeding the kids feeding the old lady you know what i'm saying um making sure the kids get to school and everything, making sure the car's got gas in it, making sure the maintenance is done. And then, you know what I'm saying? We can have a little fun and everything. So, yeah, next up on the list, like I said before, uh, shocks, front and rear, door speakers, another radio, another radio. And um, I'm going to put a, I'm, I'm going to get a K&N, I'm going to get a k and coder intake for this bad boy so it can breathe a little bit more. This truck's already fast as it is, man. Hey. I spanked the Chevrolet yesterday. Y'all was a 2500 gasoline, 2500. Bunch of little, bunch of little Edgars up in that motherfucker trying to show out at the tire shop. So I gave them what the hell they was asking for, boy. I spanked the shit out of their ass twice. Yeah, to all you little Chevrolet boys out there. <laughs> but besides all, all, besides all the jokes and everything, man, this is a good truck, and I don't got no regrets of all the money that I spend on this truck, rather if it's maintenance or rather if it's just having fun, man. I love it, man. I love it. <sighs> yep. Time for me to go take a shower, y'all. Y'all leave a, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share, subscribe, notifications, man. More goodies coming soon. More goodies coming soon.